There's a book of Ecclesiastes chapter 43 and verse 30. When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can. For even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary. For ye can never go far enough. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Wadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect, scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Wadash, Brakdam, to you, Kwanium, Wakim, Wakwaf, you know, your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the whole full elect. Out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. And of course, keeping faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, our Lord and our Savior and our King, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, in these last days and these perilous times that we are living in. This brother Peshai, Ba'an Yashallah. And this be a quick lesson through the Spirit of Pavi Al-Bashim Shai on be not slack to praise the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai. Okay, now um, I'm just gonna roll through the spirit and let's pray. You know, this uplifting for you, um, for you, Akim out there that believe in your Habashimal Shai. You know, we have been blessed, you know, with this truth, with this knowledge, with this wisdom. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna preach it very quick because um, this is great love, man. Okay, this is great love that the Heavenly Father has bestowed upon us. You know, giving us this truth, this knowledge, this wisdom. You know, um, our nationality, us knowing who we are as Israelites, sons of the Most High, Yahshua Allah, Prince of the Power. Okay, um, understanding the prophecies, the scriptures, things about to happen on this earth. That is love right there, man. All right. And no matter what we're going through, you know, on the day to day walks, we got to remember and understand that we are in hell. Okay. And um, us being in hell, we're going to catch hell. You see that? So no matter if you're feeling down, up, okay, you're feeling, you know, good in the spirit. Sometimes you may feel bad in the spirit. Sometimes spirit may not be on you. Sometimes it's on you heavy. You know what I'm saying? No matter the ups and downs. That's what I'm saying. Praise y'all about Shemel Shai. Okay? No matter when you're going through something, you know what I mean? Be grievous very quick. Still praise y'all about Shemel Shai. Remember our forefather, the prophet Job. Okay? As a matter of fact, I'm read what he said right quick. <clears throat> In Job, I believe the second chapter was probably the first, but I'm going to find it right quick. Job 1 is the first chapter. Job 1 in verse... Um, <clears throat> No, actually, it is the second chapter. Salak, yeah. Right here. Job 2 and verse 10. And this after his woman. I'll read what his woman said. It says, Then said his wife unto him, Do Doest thou still retain thine integrity? Curse the heavenly father and die. All right, so saying hopped on it right quick because that was the best saying made with the heavenly father that, you know, if you, you know, Job catch all this hell, he gonna curse your name. All right, but Job never did. So Satan hopped on his woman right quick, her being a weaker vessel. And she literally uttered those words to him. And that's what his response was, right? But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of the heavenly father, Yahweh, and shall not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips. So he was right. Everything he said was correct. So the heavenly father, he can make you go through evil and he can make you go through good. You know, he could send, you know, them evil angels to fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? And you could send righteous angels to comfort you, minister to you, man. Okay? Make you feel good in the spirit. It's a balance with Yahweh Bashim al Shai. That's the God that we serve. Okay? So when you receive good at the hand of Heavenly Father, you praise Yahweh Bashim al Shai. And when you receive evil at the hand of Heavenly Father, you still praise Yahweh Bashim al Shai because there's a reason why he's putting you through that. Remember, we're being, being tried as a gold in the fire. Okay? And he's purifying us. He's um, purging out all those impurities out of us, man. Making us that perfect, fine gold, man. All right, them, them precious gemstones, stones that, that's building up the third temple, the 144,000. I don't know, we be part of that number, man. All right, so I'm gonna read that right quick because, like I said, through the spirit, no matter you know, when you're catching hell, you go through something, whatever case may be, it could be you know, financial, spiritual, mental, whatever, work, whatever, you know what I'm saying, still praise y'all about Shemal Shai. Then we feeling on fire in the spirit, feeling great, everything's going lovely in your life, right quick, you know what I'm saying, praise y'all about Shemal Shai. At all times, be not slack to praise. I'm going to get with um, the archangel, Rapaya Allah, okay, Raphael, what he said to Tobit and Tobias, man, okay? And I believe Sarah, Tobit's daughter-in-law, was there as well. <clears throat> but I'm going to get that in a minute. Let's get this right quick. First John 3, like I said, rolling through the spirit. Um, I started this lesson earlier today before the plantation, but it ran out of um, out of time. Got, kept getting interrupted. So I was like, you know, I don't know I could do it later on today. And I got quick, you know, time. So it'd be a quick hit. 
You know, just praise Yahweh Bashem El Shaddai. Be not slack to praise your God, your power, man. All right, no matter what you're going through in life. Okay, First John three and one. Behold, because we gotta remember the hour of temptation is coming. We, we about to lose a lot of things that we even have. These different tangible things that we have, you know, homes, cars, whatever. Brothers, you know, we getting ready to lose these things, man. Society collapse, man. We gotta be pilgrims upon this earth. So be willing to forsake everything for Yahweh Bashem El Shaddai and amidst all of that, praise Him. Okay. Let's get to it right quick. First John 3 and 1. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us. So the Heavenly Father loves us, man. Right? It says, um, be blessed with this truth. You, you know, if you know you're Israelite in 2022 and you're, actually, and you're sincere and you're rehearsing the righteous acts and you're repenting, you're praying, you're fasting, okay? And brothers out there doing video lessons, going out the weekend and week out to push this gospel, man, the Lord love you, man, because He ordained you to do those righteous works. Okay, He still gets the glorification. Okay, he ordained you to do those righteous works so he could justify delivering you, man. Okay, let's read on. It says, Behold, what man of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of the Heavenly Father, Yahshua Allah, princes of power, sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because they knew him not. That's what the world, you know, they don't, they don't know us, man. Okay, they, they hate us because they don't know the Father and they hate the Father. It says, Beloved, now are we the sons of the Heavenly Father. It doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, Yahweh Shai, we shall be like him, you know, change our body. That means be fashioned like his glorious body in Philippians, the third chapter, verse 20 on down. For we shall see him as he is. <clears throat> okay. And everyone that have this hope in his in him, purify, purify himself, even as he is pure. All right. That's what I wanted to get right quick, man. So that I love, man, this truth, this gospel. So we can't forget this, man. Yeah, we catch out. Yeah, we go through things, but we cannot forget the love that Yahweh Bashim Al Shai has blessed and bestowed upon us. All right. Now, there's other preacher I thought about, um, and it slipped my mind. Uh, Salakia. Dang, it slipped my mind, man. I had another precept lined up thinking about it. Let me read this again then. Salakia. First John 3 1. Behold, what man of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of the Heavenly Father. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. So, this truth, you know, us know who we are. This is all love. This is, um, a blessing. Okay? Because not everyone know this, man. All right. Not everyone's, you know, rehearsing righteous acts in these days. All right. That's been given to the elect of the nation of Israel. Oh, that's what I want to get. The Yahweh Shemel Shai. All right. She had a spirit, you know, moves. Let's get wisdom of Simon 3 and verse uh, 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth and such as be faithful in love shall bow with him for grace and mercy is to his saints and he have care for his elect. So no matter what you're going through, he cares for you, man. Okay. He's with you. Praise him. At all times, let's get some precepts praising Yahweh Bashem El Shai now. All right, <clears throat> I know it's in one of, one of the Psalms, but let me see something right quick. Uh, I was typing it in earlier. Let me see if I dropped it. Probably did drop it. No, it's not that one. So, Slocky, I can bear with me right here. Got it. So, it's Psalms 103. I'm sorry, verse one. A song of David, bless Yahweh Bashem El Shai, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name so we have the name of the heavenly father and the son okay what is the name of the heavenly father yahweh what is the name of his son yahweh shai it says bless the lord yahweh bashim al shai so we're blessing him in the name of his son because he's our mediator our advocate okay our high priest okay we cannot get to the father but through yahweh shai so it says oh my soul forget not all his benefits everything he do for you man do not forget all his benefits all right <clears throat> that's part of what to get on that now it's another one i'm thinking about let me go back Okay, let me see where you at. <clears throat> Salaki, I can. Is it this Psalm 150? Yep, I think this is it. Let me see. All right, let me just type this in then. Salaki. So, Psalms 150 in verse 1. Okay, <clears throat> and it reads, I read this whole chapter. Praise ye Yahweh Bashem El Shah, praise the Heavenly Father in his sanctuary, praise him in the firmament of his power, praise him for his mighty acts, praise him according to his excellent greatness, praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the sultry and harp, praise him with the timbre and dance, praise him with string instruments and organs, praise him upon the loud cymbals, praise him upon the high sound of cymbals. Let everything that have breath praise Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Praise ye Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Man, I can close it out with that. Okay. Uh, 
I just thought about another one. Uh, yeah, this is good too. <clears throat> Proverbs, Psalms 28 and verse uh, 2. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward the holy oracle, man. So pray with your hands lifted up, okay? <clears throat> and praise y'all, Bashim Al Shah. It's another one. In, uh, I'm going to give it to Tobias, uh, Raphael, or Payali said. But it's another one in the prayer of Azariah. I'm going to read, the, you know, the first verse. Prayer of Azariah 1 and 1. And they walked in the midst of the fire, praising Yahweh Basham Al Shah and blessing the Lord. Let's read on. Then Azariah stood up and prayed on this matter and opened his mouth in the midst of the fire, said, not spiritual, because they actually was in the midst of fire, man. Mesach, Shadrach, and Abednego, which is um, Azariah, Ananias, and Mishael. During the time of the Babylonian Empire, and they cast them in the fiery furnace because they didn't bow down to the image. Now, they're literally in the midst of fire praising Yahweh Bashim Al-Shai. Uh, catching afflictions, catching hell for Yahweh Bashim al -Shai. We have to praise him in the midst of it, man. Okay? The verse 3. Blessed art thou, O Yahweh Bashim al -Shai, God, power of our fathers. Thy name is worthy to be praised and glorified forevermore. Okay? For thou art righteous in all the things that thou hast done to us. Yea, true are all thy works. Thy ways are right and all thy judgments truth, man. So call him La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Let's get uh Tobit. I believe it's 13. Okay. <clears throat> nope, it's 12. Okay. This whole thing is good. Uh be nice. Let me just type. No, it's right here. Okay, so I'm gonna start verse one. Then Tobit called his son Tobias and said unto him, My son, see that see that the man have his wages. Because you get the whole concept of the story. Okay, Raphael was um using wisdom, of course. You know, he didn't let them know he was an archangel Raphael, but he guided Tobias on his journey, man. And also healed Tobit's eyes as well as, you know, uh, the demon that was, you know, plaguing Sarah. Okay, Tobias' wife. Okay. And uh he was, you know, basically Tobit hired him to guide Tobias. So he said, have it, let him have his wages. Let's read on. Which went with thee, and thou must give him more. He's to give him more. And Tobias said unto him, O father, it is no harm to give to him half of those things which I brought. For he have brought me again to thee in safety, and may hold my wife, and brought me the money, and likewise held thee. Then the old man said, It is due unto him. So he called the angel, but they didn't know it was the angel, but you know, that was the angel Raphael. And he said unto him, unto him, Take half of all that ye have brought and go away in safety. Now, what, let's see what Raphael said to them. Then he took them both apart and said unto them, Bless Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai. Praise him and magnify him and praise him for the things which he have done unto you in the sight of all that live. You see that? So, Rapaya Allah, Raphael, the archangel, Hill to Tobit, Hill Tobias' his wife. And he's telling them, don't, don't glorify me. Don't, you know, praise Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai. He do he do the works like our Lord Yahweh Shah was saying to the to our people back then, man. And that's what we say when we teach. And I heard Apostle Gabar say this a lot too. It's not us, you know. It's Yahweh Bashim El Shai. He gets he gets the glorification, man. Okay, let's read on. And praise him for the thing which I've done unto you in the sight of all that live. It is good to praise Yahweh and exalt His name. So praise Yahweh in the name of Son Yahweh Shai and exalt His name. And honorable to show forth the works that Heavenly Father doing His work. Go out there pushing. Preaching, prophesying, okay, doing video lessons, sit downs, right? Therefore, be not slack to praise him. Okay. It is it says uh it is that's the point I want to get. Let's read on. It is it is good to it is good to keep close the secret of a king, but it's honorable to reveal the works of the heavenly father, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Do that which is good and no evil shall touch you. Prayer is good with fasting and alms and in righteousness. Right, so when you're praying, make sure, you know, a lot of times you got to go on a fast, you know, give alms, you know what I'm saying? Be righteous, okay? Um, Salakia, one second, Salakia. Salakia, so let's, um, let's read that, um, that precept again. October 12 and 8, pray is good with fasting and alms and righteousness. A little with righteousness is better than much with unrighteousness, right? So a little with righteousness is better than much with unrighteousness, man. Okay, so make sure... You know, you're praying, you're fasting, you're giving alms, you're being charitable, showing brotherly love, you know what I'm saying? And being as righteous as you can, and you know? Because scripture say what? Our righteousness is a filthy rags, you know? So, uh, you know, uh, 
scriptures also say a righteousness of the Lord. So he get the glorification, right? So we in the corruptible flesh. But, you know, as much as you can, you know, serve Yahweh by Shemal Shad. All right? And do right, man, by your brothers. You see, and keep the commandments to the best of your ability. It says, it is better to give alms than to lay up gold. So instead of stacking up money, stacking up gold, it's better to give alms, man. Give to the less fortunate. You know, your brothers in need. Help them out, man. Okay? For alms doth deliver from death and shall purge away all sin. Those that exercise alms righteousness shall be filled with life. Now, I'm going to jump down. This whole thing is good, but I'm going to jump down. Uh, I see. I think I got the point. Yeah, that was the point. Okay, but I'll, I'll read this right here. It says, um, verse 15. I am Raphael, or Paya Allah. Okay, which means um, uh, power that heals. All right, oh, heal he power. He's a power that heals. It says, um, one of the seven holy angels, which present the prayers of the saints and which go in and out before the glory of the holy one. So he always comes to and fro. So, <clears throat> Raf, uh, Rapaya Allah, um, you know, Raphael, Uriel, Gabriel, Michael, all the other angels, right hand angels, of course, they're always looking out for brothers, man. You know, bringing out prayers up to the Father, all of that stuff, man. Okay. It says, then they were both troubled and fell upon their faces for they feared. <clears throat> right? So once he realized he was the Raphael, the Archangel, they was afraid, man. It says, but he said unto them, fear not, for it shall go well with you. Praise Yahweh, therefore. For not in any favor of mine, but by the will of our God, I came. All right? So that's their God, too. The angel, right? Ain't just, they serve the same power we serve, man. Even the left hand angel serve the same power we serve. Okay? He's the father of spirits. Everyone going to worship Yahweh Bashim al at the end of the day. It says, wherefore, praise him forever. Okay? Let's read on. All these days did appear unto you, but I did neither eat nor drink, but he did see a vision. He had them thinking that he was eating and drinking. It says, now therefore give the heavenly father thanks to Wadi al Bashim al Shai. For I go up to you, to him that sent me, but write all these things that are done in the book. And we read them from that book. And when they arose, they saw him no more. Then they confessed the great and wonderful works of the Heavenly Father and how the angel of the Lord had appeared unto them. <coughs> it's like it. So I want to do something, you know, quick, straight to the point, man. Praise Yahweh, Bashim Al Shai. No matter what you're going through, um, when you're catching hell, you know, always glorify Yahweh, Bashim Al Shai, your God, your power. Okay. Uh, he has care for his elect. Look at Psalms 118. Okay. Let's get Psalms 118 chapter. All right. Let me give verse um, 19. It says, Open to me the gates of righteousness, and I'll go into them, and I'll praise Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Let me see something real quick. So like, uh, yes, read on. It says, This gate of the Lord, into which the righteous shall enter, I will praise thee, for thou hast heard me, and I'll become my salvation. Okay? So always praise Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Bless Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Give thanks to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Let's jump down. Okay, man, fam, let's read on down. It says, I will praise thee for thou, for thou hast heard me and I will become my salvation. The stone which the builders refused has become the head stone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is the mar it is marvelous in, in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, send now pros um, prosperity. Prosperity, right? Blessed be he that cometh in the name of Yahweh. Bashim Shai. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. The Heavenly Father, um, it says, God is the Lord. Power is the Lord. Okay. It's Yahweh. Bashim Al Shai, which have showed us light, Yahweh Shai. Bind the sacrifice with cords, even unto the horns of the altar. Thou art my God, my power, and I'll praise thee. Thou art my power, I will exalt thee. Oh, give thanks unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, for he is good, for his mercy endure forever. So, Dwadi Al Bashim Al Shai for putting inspiration. For me to do this quick, you know, lesson for the Akim out there. And I pray you Akim out there was edified through the spirit of Prophet Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. And I pray this is a faith builder. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, a reminder to always praise Yahweh Bashim Al Shai no matter what you're going through, no matter it's bad, no matter it was good, no matter what it is, man. Okay, you're catching hell, you're catching heaven. <laughs> praise Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. So with that, I'm going to give Kon Lion La. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechak Wadash, double honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutation to the elect scattered abroad. Pushing his truth and sincerity without a message, Shalom. Wa ba ba ba, Shalom.